This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Uh, this is The Ramble, and I'm Alex, and we'll be here until midnight tonight. In a pensive pose, looking like he's thinking. There's my old friend, Steve Kravitz. Hello, Steven. Hey, Alex. How you doing? Hello, people. We were having a little trouble getting his audio going, but now it's going. So. Yeah, now it's working. We fixed it, and we don't know how. It may have been a problem on my side. I may have had the wrong slider up. Oh, God. Yeah. Let's blame you. you let's blame me. It's my fault. And absolutely. Hey, well, what was your I, fault? I'm an old man, okay? What am I going to do about it, okay? Wow. Yeah, I may have had the wrong thing up here, but we, we hear you now. So it was on your end? I think it was on your end, too. But I think uh, because I had both of these open at one point and we weren't getting sound. But nobody wants to know how we make these stew. They just want to eat it. So let's talk. Uh, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How about you? Yeah, what's the weather like up there in uh, in uh, 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 Ma Ma Massachusetts. Ma Massachusetts? It's cold. It's sunny, but it's cold. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it it's um, it's cold here too. What is it? Thirty six degrees. Right. Yeah. And I got to go out in a little bit and do some shopping. Buy. Uh, was there? Did anybody win the lottery last night? No. Oh, okay. Then I'll have to buy a lottery ticket. Oh yeah. You don't buy. You know, Marjorie says to me, "Well, let's get five lottery tickets. Let's get ten lottery tickets." And I go, you know. If you only get one, you're not really improving your chances that much. You know? Think about it. It's like one out of 130 million or something Some, like that? No, 300 million, I think. Is that right? Yeah. It's 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 an amazing thing. I yeah. What would you do if you won a billion dollars? Well, it's billion plus now. It'd probably go up to like a billion four, something like that. I, last I checked, it was like a billion three. Billion three. What would you do with a billion three? I take the cash. No. I take the. Uh, oh yeah, you take the cash payout because that. Pay right. What's that? Like five hundred thousand? It's five hundred million. No, it, it's five hundred million. It may be more, seven hundred and fifty million, something like that. But I think that pays your taxes on it, right? Right. Right. Yeah. And you just take it all at once, because yeah, right. yeah. I want you to pay it out over forty years. Right, you know, come on! I want it now so I can go spend it on things. So, what would right. you what would you buy? I'd buy a house in uh, L.A. or Malibu. Uh, well, how big a house? Big enough. Well, Malibu, nice property. Right, but yeah. I have the money. Yeah, you have the money, but what would you? What would you? I mean, see, here's my way of thinking about it. Let's say I get a payout of seven hundred million. All right, after I, yeah. If I spend two million on that on a house, I still got five million left. You got more than that left. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, it's uh, if I spent 200 million on a house, I'd still have 500 million left. So right. it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. You know what I often dreamed if I won that, what I'd try and do is buy this apartment house. The whole building? The whole building, yeah. How many units is that? Uh, I think it's 100 units. And, and what would you do with it? Hmm? What would you do with 100 units? I would fix it up. You know, I, how much could this building cost? Uh, maybe 200 million, let's say. I think they'd be happy to get 200 million for it. <laughs> you know? And You're I, talking like you've got the money. No, and I'd still have $500 million left, so I can fix the place up. All right? 
Okay. Like there were. So you, there, you bought it, you fixed it up, now what do you do with there, it? There are four elevator shafts in this building that aren't being used. Why not? They just stopped using them years ago. They uh, Out the back of our apartment is a landing, and there's a door there. I said to the uh, the uh, super once when we were out there, I said, I understand there used to be other elevators here, and he pointed. And sure enough, there was the door, there was the the opening for an elevator. Uh, so I, 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 re, I put in those elevators. They, they were st service elevators. But I put them back in. So people had, you know, two ways to get down to the main floor. Yeah. What would you do with all the people that are living there now? Uh, if you are uh, under a certain amount of income, I wouldn't charge you rent. Okay. Be my guess, you know. Uh, and and uh, although I don't know, do you, if you own a building and you have people in it, do you have to charge them rent? Or can you say gratis? No, you don't have to charge them rent. Yeah. And you still have to pay taxes on all of it. Uh, yes, that's right. You know, but I've got, I've got, I've got 500 million left. I mean, I, I got, and at my age, that's fuck you money. Right. You know? Right. Uh, so, uh, I, I, you know, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I would like to do something nice for the people in this building. I'd like to give some of them, let them be in here for rent free. You know? Okay, now you got five hundred million left. What are you going to do with that? Hookers. <laughs> Hookers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 well, I guess you know. What else am I going to do with it? I'm trying to think. Well, I would t do some traveling. That's for damn right. sure. In my maybe private jet, I still will have four hundred million left. Okay. You know, you my my private jet. Go fly. Right. Flying to all places around the world. That'd be cool. Yeah, you know, and uh, not have to wait to you know go through TSA or anything like that at the airport. You know, right? Land maybe park. buy maybe buy a yacht. I, I you know I don't know if I'd want a yacht. Would you want a yacht? Sure. Oh, okay. All right. Well, why not? Okay. Then why not even? How much would a yacht cost me? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been pricing them lately. Let's say it's another hundred million. Let's just say I get a really nice yacht, a hundred million. Okay. Uh, I still got four hundred million left. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's just it's so much money that especially at my age, it doesn't really matter. You know, I can spend it on um, wax lips if I want to. You know? <laughs> I mean, you could. yeah, you me, could spend it on whatever you want. Yeah, what would you? Why don't you buy a comedy club? Nah, that's a losing proposition. Right, right, right. right. But you know, you could make movies starring you. Well, there you go. See, that's what I do with part of my money. I would give uh, five, uh, fifty million dollars to you to make a movie starring you. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, no, really, I would. Why not? I got, you know, how long am I going to live? Have fun, Steve. You know, and then everybody will say, oh, this is the movie the guy paid him money out of his uh, winnings to make. Okay, so hey. you get a lot of publicity on that. So if you made that movie, what would the movie be? Do you know? I think it would be called Winning. Winning, Okay. But I'm thinking about, well, like, what would you, what, what kind of plot, what kind of movie would you make? I just gave you $50 million to make a movie. I have no idea. A comedy of some sort. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have you, I mean, have you ever thought about it? No. 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 Okay. I did write a screenplay once. You did write a screenplay? What was it about? It's about two guys who are kind of down on their luck and they try to get involved in the disaster to become famous. Oh, okay. It was called Based on a Really True Story. Oh, a very good idea. Good idea. I wrote a screenplay myself. Oh, did you? 
Yeah, when I was, remember the, there was a time I was out of work at Live 105. Uh, Live 105 okay. And uh, I had nothing to do except cocaine. And I started doing cocaine, and I wrote this whole screenplay, rah, wow, in two weeks on cocaine. Yeah. Did it make sense? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, uh, it was called, um, what was it called? Uh, shock movie or shock shock radio shock radio and it was just about this guy who goes in and takes over this radio station and by do I can't even remember the script anymore I know I have it somewhere uh, oh you still have a copy of it a friend of mine kept a copy and gave it to me and what did I do with that what did I do with a copy of it but anyway it was it, was, it wasn't terrible you know it wasn't horrible uh, in fact, wait a minute, did I ever have somebody was gonna, gonna I, I had an agent down in Hollywood who was passing it around for a while. Yeah. So, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, I, I, that, that was it for me in, in writing screenplays because I really can't afford the Coke anymore. <laughs> you know. No, it wasn't a bad script. I mean, you know, it was... Um... I, I had a parody of I in it. I remember I did a parody of Scarface. Remember that scene where he's being interrogated by the police. He says, "How'd you get that scar? Eating pussy." I don't remember that scene. Uh, yeah, how'd you get that scar? And then and then, then uh, uh, Pacino says, I "Got it eating pussy." And my thing in the joke in the picture was, "How'd you get that scar?" Uh, and, and, and somebody went, oh, God, what was it? It was eating pussy, only it was a real, real cat. It was like a tiger or something. I can't remember. Forget it. it. I can't even remember stuff I wrote, okay? That's how old I'm getting. Oh, come on now. You know, I look back over my life, and it's like this big, long movie. And I can't believe it's gone that long. I can't remember the periods of time in my life that that I went through. I, I can't remember, you know, I had my childhood and then, you know, and I look at it, it's just this big, long tunnel trailing in the past to me. And it's very- And you weird. remember a lot of it? Oh yeah, I remember a lot of it. I, I put a lot of it in, I did a thing called, uh, and it's up, still up on the, on the site, called Life in the Passing Lane, which was an audio biography and every week I would do another chapter, and then by the time I was through, there were 60 chapters of half-hour episodes. So if you want to listen to them, folks, start binging. And I did my whole life. And, and I don't know if I could do that right now because my memory isn't what it was when I did them. And sometimes, you know what I would have to do occasionally? I would have to call up Bubbles. Bubbles. Yeah, to tell me what happened in my life. When did I do this? When did I do that? You know, because he remembers that stuff. Oh, yeah, he remembers everything. You know, I can say, you know, you remember when so-and-so was on a show? Yeah, that was a Monday, January 5th. What? Right. You know. He's like Rain Man. Yeah. So, I mean, I would go to him to for my life and say, you know, tell me about it. Tell me what, what happened then. And he remembers you know, he definitely remembers. When's the last time we talked to Bubbles? Uh, last week. You know, I, I do him every two weeks like I do you. And How's he doing? He's doing, uh, he's doing fine. You know, he's, you know, he's Bubbles. Bubbles is, I, I feel he's kind of like a cockroach. Okay. That after the planet has been completely decimated, there will still be Bubbles. <laughs> you know, he will be the last man standing. You know, I mean, he complains he's got to he's got to get a hernia operation. Next week I have to do him a day early because the next day he's supposed to get a hernia operation. But he's kept calling off this hernia operation for the last five years. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Because to begin with, a hernia operation is no easy operation. You no. Know, you know, the it takes you about three or four weeks to recover. Right. And, it's painful. Yeah. I mean, that's why, I mean, I had a doctor looked at me and said, oh, you know you have a hernia. And I said, yeah, what do we do about it? He says, nothing unless it's bothering you. Right. You know, because in the old days, they'd immediately go in and fix it up and everything. But 
why do it? It's too much trouble. Right. If it's not bothering you, then don't worry about it. You know. And the recovery is brutal, like we said. I don't know if it's brutal, but it's certainly not not easy. You know. I, I don't know if they cut into you like they used to. I think they do it like laparoscopically or something, and you know it's 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 an easier operation, but still not that easy. Right. Yeah. So what eh, whatever. So how how are this is what we do when we're older people, folks. So how are your health problems? My my health problems. Uh, I'm pretty good. You're pretty good. I'm pretty good. Yeah. yeah. You, you you had the teeth, but you got those taken care of. Are you used right. to are you used to them now? Kinda. Kinda. Some days, some days, some days yes, some days no. Someday when you make a lot of money, when you get that billion dollars, right? Just have them uh, put in implants in there, right? You know. Apparently, though, you have to buy a ticket. Oh, you have to buy a ticket. Well, I'll go downstairs and buy a few. Uh, just if I win, I'll I'll pay to have your teeth done. Okay. Okay. So you got a deal. Yeah, yeah, and uh, then we'll buy a movie studio, <laughs> and then we'll yeah, uh, you know it's interesting, but a lot of these businesses won't be here in another ten years. The networks, certain networks, NBC is thinking of stopping its network broadcasting. Oh, is that right? And going completely to the internet. And streaming new shows there. In other words, having an NBC, you know, like they have Peacock. Okay. Right. So uh, a lot of them are considering, uh, they're saying, you know, people aren't watching TV off the air right now anyway. Most people watch it off the cable. And once they got the cable, they have internet service. And once you have internet service, why not just supply them NBC on an app as opposed to supplying them NBC as a network, it's a doesn't CBS have a service like that? They have Paramount Plus. Yeah, is that CBS? Yeah, and a lot of the a lot of the shows they have there are original to there. In other words, they don't put them out on the network, right? And actually, they should put them out on the network because they're really, really good shows. I mean, they have a show called 1923 with Helen Mirren and uh, Harrison Ford that's just great. I mean, it's, oh, is that right? Yeah. And it's just on their Paramount Plus. That's it. And and why they don't take those things and then say, okay, well, we put them on Paramount Plus. Why don't we put them on the network for a run? You know? Because the networks, you know, what, what's the sense in keeping networks going? The viewership is down. It's going less and less and less. You know, so go over to where things are being done, the Internet. You know, right, and, right. You know, so they, they, all of this is going to change. You know, if you and I came back 100 years from now, we wouldn't even know what was going on. Not much like me today. Either that or none of this will be here, you know. Right. Uh, if the Republicans keep winning, it won't be here. No, it won't. You know, did you, did you like that old show they had in Washington a couple of weeks ago? Oh, with McCarthy? Yeah. Ridiculous. Huh? Just absolutely absurd. Right. A, a travesty. And then what, what I love is this story. they got to make a movie about it, about this guy who ran for Congress out in Long Island and won. Oh, the guy who, who lied about his... Uh, well, there wasn't a thing uh, that he said that wasn't a lie. Right. He said he had a Jewish mother. He didn't have a Jewish mother. He and survived had, the Holocaust. He had relatives that survived the Holocaust, so the mother survived the Holocaust, he said. Right. Yeah. And he he's gay, and they're not even sure his name is really Santos. It may be something else altogether. And then he said he was gay. He was trying to get every vote he possibly could. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's that's a great story. That'd be a great movie. Guy just conned everybody. Oh, yeah. You know? And and uh, it, 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 it goes to prove my contention that really this democracy should not have the right for everybody to vote. You know? And, and I'm not saying we have to racially apportion it. I think that, you know, just, just you have to be intelligent enough. And you also have to... You have to know what you're voting for. Yeah, but who makes that judgment call? Uh, me, because I will. Well, have, have, I will have the billion dollars to buy the country. 
Yeah. Uh, no, but I just, I just, I just, people are so stupid. You know, I'm saying that, folks, and you're listening to me. But the public in general is stupid, and they they don't deserve the right to vote because let's say there's an issue that comes up and they have to vote on it. Do they go out and study it? No. They just go, oh, well, sounds, boom, you know. They just don't do anything to, to, to get themselves up on the news and who's running and how they're running and crap like that, you know. So, anyway, that's and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Andrew, you could be a congressperson. Yeah, yeah. So, what uh, you're working, obviously. Right. At where, where again? Lowe's. Lowe's. Uh, and and it's the other Home Depot folks. Uh, right, right, right. It's similar. What's the difference between Home Depot and Lowe's? The merchandise they carry. Really, it's just a different merchandise, or, or pretty much. But it's you know, same stuff. If you're going to buy a nail, right, right, they're pretty much the same nails as Lowe's that are at Home Depot, right? Might be a better price. Better price on nails, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, but it, it, and then they carry different products than, than Home Depot does. Or no, they, like uh, I'm trying to give you an example. Home Depot, Home Depot may carry one brand of like tools, and mm -hmm. Lowe's may carry another brand. It just depends on which one you like. Electric screwdrivers. Let me ask you this. Since you're the expert now, having worked at Lowe's now. <laughs> electric screwdrivers. Uh, there are many different electric screwdrivers. Oh, is that right? You can buy a steel. Right. right. Or you can buy a, well, I, I'm trying to think of another company that makes those kind of tools. Uh, but anyway. DeWalt. DeWalt, yeah. You can buy DeWalt. So, do you carry different electric screwdrivers, or do you just have one brand of electric screwdrivers? I don't know about electric screwdrivers. You're, you're, you're at the checkout counter. You should know all of this. What are you looking at? I can't read your writing. Politically, the Home Depot is red. Oh, politically, Home Depot is a uh, Republican. And Lowe's is Democrat. <laughs> Have we gotten to that time in our history where we're saying Lowe's is Republican and no, no, you Democrat, got it and and uh, Home Depot is uh, is Republican? Do you know that? Pretty for, much. Do you know that for a fact, or was that person who was talking to you off camera uh, <clears throat> accurate in their assessment? Oh, she's accurate. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, she knows a lot about Lowe's. She knows more than I do. <laughs> you know. You, you do checking out, right? You check people right. out. Right. I'm a cashier. You cashier. Is that Does that get boring or is that okay? Because, you know, you aren't dealing with people, which kind of makes it easier than if you were sitting right. somewhere stocking shelves or something. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it, 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 it's, it's interesting dealing with the public in this manner. Mm -hmm. You know, because I can't really joke about with them mm -hmm. because my joking would be about them. <laughs> okay, okay. Right? Yeah. Uh, have you gotten into a fight with one of them? Some guy freaked out on me. Freaked out? Over what? The price. The price. He wanted it lower, he wanted it higher. He wanted a veteran discount, which he got, but he didn't say that at first. He just kept saying the price should be X, and the price came up Y. And then after the veteran's discount, the price was X. It's just he flipped out and didn't convey that he was a veteran at first. Now, if I show up at Lowe's and I want the veteran's discount, do I get it? Because I spent two years in the Navy. You'd have to sign up for it. Okay, but but I qualify for it, right? Oh, absolutely. Just after two years in the Navy. Absolutely. In fact, I served at the beginning of the Vietnam War, so I'm really a Vietnam vet. 
Yeah, you would qualify. The next thing you have to say is thank you for your service, God damn it. Well, just you leave the God damn it out. Oh, okay, leave the God damn it out. Hey, you listen. always say thank you for your service. I just looked at our clock. Oh, yeah? We're slowly running out of time. We got about 30 seconds. Any gigs you want to plug? I always say <laughs> I always say that to comedians. Any gig? No. Oh, okay. Well, it's, uh, it's pretty good. No. All no. Right. Well, what do you want me to tell you? I wish I had a gig to plug. Yeah. Well, okay. Well, why don't you sign us off here? Okay. This has been uh, The Ramble with Kravitz and Bennett. Bye, folks. That's why I'm in radio and you do comic stand up right. comedy. Stand up, stand up comedy. See you, see you next time. All right, Alex. Okay, Bye, that's folks. Stephen Kravitz, folks. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, yeah. Ah, thank you, Steve. We appreciate it. That'll be talking to him. Of course, I, t I always say that, and I do. I, I truly mean it. And, uh, you know, so tonight is a Thursday. This is the night nobody ever calls. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let me see here. Let me, uh, let me just bring these people in here. Wait a minute. i got to do a few things here that I didn't do earlier. I forget to do. You know, it's the way I am. And here we go, admit all, here we go with the people that we're going to talk to on the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here they come. They're popping right in. Uh, there's uh, there's Alan to the left of me. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes uh, Mr. Nunn. Vernon Nunn is calling. Uh, and uh, down below him is Josh Wheeler. And over to the side of, of uh, at the bottom is uh, Charlie Wallace. What what is your what's your shirt today? Shirt of the day. Albert Einstein. Just just Albert Einstein, right? Yeah. And of course Vernon Nunn, who of course works at uh, what the Home Depot. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, of course uh, uh, we were just talking to um, uh, Steve Kravitz, who works for the competition. Yeah, I shop at uh, Lowe's also when I'm doing stuff for Habitat because. They have an account with Habitat. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. And here comes Scott Boddicker. Wow. Oh, hey, Scott. How are you? Oh, Scott hasn't got his microphone on yet. Right? Scott's asleep. Oh, uh, there's Scott. Of course, we're set. You know what? The Home Depot? Uh, I got to turn that down, yep. too. There yep. we go. Yeah, we're fine. Great. So, how are you all tonight? You all in the fine fettle? Yep. Yeah. Uh, we lost somebody tonight. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Lisa Marie Presley. She, she was passed away. 54. 54 yeah. years old. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I mean, um, what, what I, I could swear, but maybe it was her mother who was at the uh, Golden Globes. She was. It they was, both were. They were both there. Yeah. 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 And the next thing you know, she's dead. I just saw her the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'd have been dead 19 years ago at 54. I know. Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, didn't she have some kind of drug problems and things like that throughout the years? That you know, may have. It, she had to. She was married to Michael Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, married only in name. <laughs> you know, only Elvis for about six over. months. <laughs> yeah. What? Elvis wrote, Elvis only for about six months. They had a couple of kids, didn't they? No, no, adopted no. maybe. No, no, they didn't have any. All of <laughs> all of the Michael's kids were by that woman. What's her name? I can't even remember her name. Oh, Debbie, right. Debbie right. Rowe. Debbie Rowe. What? Wait, yeah. I don't understand it. I can't remember shit these days, and yet I came up with Debbie Rowe just eh, like that. It's amazing to me, you know. So, anyway. Oh, here, here comes Martin, Brian Neary, who does a light show before he comes on. I know, I know. <laughs> what do you do? Do you have a little thing you put on the <laughs> lens? Is that uh, it? No, 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 no. Uh, I have no. I just have my USB that that goes into my work laptop. So, yeah. So I have to plug that in. But... Yeah, yeah. We always like to talk about technology here because, as you know, <laughs> I have to deal with it all the time. Ooh, uh, Boddicker, what's up, man? You what? No power. I got lights. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's Boddicker, and he's in. Uh, he's in, of course, uh, uh, Plano, Texas. Plano, oh. Texas, the home of Snapple. Yeah. And Lance Armstrong. Was that Lance Armstrong? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. He went to high school here, anyway. Ah. Now there is. Oh. Now there is. Uh, there is. Uh, Everybody's in the dark. I'm going in the dark too. Yeah, you got to turn on your lights. Jason. Jason, turn on All your right, light. I'll go turn it up Jason? brighter. What do, you well, mean, what do you mean turn it up brighter? You, it looks like you haven't got any on at all. Oh, they're on. See? Yeah, but now we can't see your face because there's no light on your face. Because I'm going to turn the lights oh, up brighter. Okay, we'll do and then it. then I'll go sit back on. There down. we go. Man, he wonders why nobody calls a show. <laughs> See, is that better? That's much it's better. Hey. hey, that's good. That's terrific, uh, Jason. How you doing, Jason? Haven't seen you in a while. I'm uh, pretty good. Oh, look, he's can't getting an he's getting an Albert beard. Oh, yeah. yeah, can't can't stay up this late anymore. Not a young guy anymore. Oh, is that it? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. You're where again? You're in Detroit. The, Detroit. So you're what one hour off of us? No, same time. No, you're not. You're not Eastern Daylight Time. Yes, Eastern they Daylight. Are. No. Yeah. Same time zone. Detroit. Well, I guess I. Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm on the cusp of the Central Time Zone myself. You, you go an hour hour to the west of me, and you're in the Central Time Zone. He's in Kentucky. Yeah. I gotta go look at a map. I forget what. Where. Indiana's Eastern Time Zone. Yeah. Now, I have a question. Does anybody know anybody here in the mountain time zone? I used Nobody to lives in the mountain time we, zone. We never had a call from anybody from the mountain time zone. I, think oh, it, I used I, to live for a year and a half. I lived well, you've had, you've had, you have a lady that calls you from Wyoming every once in a while. Oh, years ago. Years ago. It hasn't been but, that long. I've talked to her. But I'm beginning to wonder whether the mountain time zone does exist. You know that, that uh, Johnny White trash wasn't that one of his jokes about he lived in the mountain time zone and it doesn't exist? Oh, that's right. Hmm. He was up in Canada, wasn't he? Yeah. Mountain time zone. Yeah. Man, you're remembering people I can't even remember. Yeah. And you've had people call you from Arizona before too. Sometimes it's on mountain and sometimes it's on west. I guess oh, that I lived there for a year and a half and I called you. Oh yes, you're right. You did. Yeah. I forgot. That's what I'm saying it. It, it they change theirs a lot. Uh, sometimes they're on mountains. Wait, so you lived in Arizona and then you lived in Texas. When are you going to move to a state that anybody cares about? <laughs> <laughs> well, when I hit the lottery, I can afford to live. In Actually, California. it's interesting because we got two people here right now from Texas, right? Calling the show, so you know, and the slower, uh, lower. And then you got you got Jack. You know, he's in uh, he's in Texas. Yeah. Somewhere. Where is he in Texas? What city is he in? Texas. Louisville. Louisville. Okay. Louisville. Yeah. Loserville. It is Loserville. <laughs> you really? Not Louisville. That's in Kentucky. This. Is I Louisville. resemble that remark. <laughs> well, and you're you, wait a minute. You're and you're in Plano, and you're in uh, the, the 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 college city, the uh, university. Austin. State Austin. Capital. Austin. 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 Yeah. Very nice town, by the way. Very nice down. When I was down in Texas visiting my brother, I was looking at the license plate. I was like, man, these license plates are so plain down here. Yeah. They must have been designed in Plano, Texas. No, no, my, I, I got one of the old ones because I have an older car, and it's better than the plain black on white. You know what I always remembered about the California license plate? Uh, every four years, their color would change. It would revert. It would. There were there were two. There was New York license plates, and there were California license plates. And I think it was that the California license plates were yellow and blue, or yellow and black. Three different. Three and, different. Wait a minute. And know. and the New Yorks were black and yellow, and every four years they would change their colors in reverse, but they were always the reverse of each other. I remember so that. They've gone, I, they've gone from when I was a kid, they were black with yellow writing. Yes. And then they went to blue with, I mean, white with blue writing. And I don't even blue, know. Blue with yellow. Like what seven. are they now? 
blue and yellow were like 70s. Well, when blue I first got a car, oh. when I first got a car, and that was in the 1800s, um, uh, I got it. I remember, I remember the license plate was black and yellow. Mm-hmm. You know, and I can't, I can't, and then it would change. It would, it would then be black. At first, it was black on yellow. Then it was yellow on black. But <sighs> would, they would reverse themselves. I don't think they changed them anymore. You, you can pay for the black with the yellow writing now. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So like my McLaren, that's what I did. So yeah. Well, so that, a lot, now, but they have so many specialized plates now. It's crazy. Down in Florida, mm-hmm. every state, every every county has their own license plates. What? Wow. Yeah, and you can get all kinds of weird license plates. They had license plates for the space program. They had license plates for a whole bunch of different things. Yeah, there isn't like one license plate. So, but that's that's Florida. Who can explain Florida? Go ahead, anybody, explain Florida. (laughs) Hey, Josh, you're the one with all the information. Explain Florida. Won't have to for long. It's going to be underwater. (laughs) I lived there for a little while. I didn't really like it very much. Yeah, I lived there for, uh, uh, what was it, uh, three months, I think? Hmm. And I I couldn't, I hated it. I just hated it. There was nothing (laughs) to recommend it. Florida is the groin of the country. I figured at least the food might, and they had this thing called stone crabs. And every time I would eat them, the juice from the stone crabs would go on my fingers and sting my fingers. <laughs> so that wasn't uh, that wasn't on my menu. Okay, yeah. you know what they do with stone crabs? This is this is true. This is the cruelest thing you've ever heard in your life. You you get a bowl of stone crab legs. Okay, and then you crack them. They give you a little mallet, and you crack them open, and then you dip them in the sauce, and you eat them, and, you know, they're good. But how do they get these legs? Well, they don't, like, chop off two legs, two claws off of a crab, and then eat the rest of the crab or whatever. They cut off one leg and throw them back in the water. It grows back. And it and, and It grows back. And I'm thinking, if I were one of those crabs, man, I think, oh boy, it's a really nice day. To, what are you gonna? What are you doing? What? Oh no! He's cutting my claw off. Oh, my claw's gone. What am I gonna do? I don't have a claw any longer. And then I, they throw me back in the water, and I'm about three weeks later. I'm going, hey, this claw's grown back. That's pretty cool. That's wonderful. My, my, my question well, is, well, wait, my, my crab. I'm doing a bit. My crab. <laughs> my claw's grown back. This is what, wait a minute, what are you doing? You're pulling me out of the water? Wait a minute, they're cutting off. That's not a nice thing to do to a, a stone oh, crab. Over again. My, yeah. my question is, how do you get them stoned? <laughs> <laughs> okay, a little that, harder may been, that, may, that may have been better than my whole bit, okay? <laughs> you have to use a water bong. <laughs> oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, Oh boy, yeah. But it's so it's uh, you know. I mean that 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 was a, one of the one of the other crazy things in Florida was the stone crab. You know. That's uh, just because you stopped doing coke. That's why you stopped like in Florida. Yeah. Well, I stopped doing coke at the border. You remember the story, don't you? Yeah. I used my. I took my last. I had one little blast in my bottle, and that was it. And that was the last time I did coke. <laughs> And you say, well, you moved to Florida and you quit Coke? <laughs> you know, and I went down there. Everybody had it. It was all over the place. And uh, I just didn't, uh, uh, I just didn't, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't go back to using it. I just said, that's it for me. I'm not going to do it. You know, and it wasn't that rough either. I thought it was going to be really rough. Yeah, I stopped a lot of stuff. <clears throat> Cold. I, my my problem was my friends, the the friends that I hung out with did stuff, so I did stuff. When I stopped hanging out with them, I stopped doing it. Yeah, yeah. I found that when I left California, uh, it kind of became easier. But then I was down there, and and everybody I knew knew where I could get coke. I mean, you're moving to Florida, and you don't you can't find cocaine. That's ridiculous. I mean, I had one guy who was going to offer it to me, and I said no thanks. He's well, say hello to my little friend. You know, I mean, I'm doing bits tonight. Isn't this wonderful? Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, it, it, uh, it, uh, that, t- that state sucks. God, I hate that state. If it, all, wi- that if it all winds up underwater, fine. You know? 
Oh, but Alex, people might drown. Yes, but they'd be Floridians. <laughs> <laughs> they drowned because they deserved it. Yeah, right. You know. They broke all those crab claws. So have you been watching this whole Santos thing? <laughs> what, what, uh, Josh, what, constitutionally, what can they do about Santos? Can they make him quit? Can they force him to quit? Can they pass a resolution Sign for him, him to be? I don't think there's too much there specifically constitutionally, but I think since the chambers of Congress set their own rules and different federal laws, I mean, I'm sure they have some recourse if they wanted to kick him out. You know, I think they have the right to expel members. Uh, so he, this is the House. Uh, you know, they can expel their own members. They can refuse to seat him, I believe, which I don't think they did. He got sworn in, right? So right. Yep. they well, passed that opportunity up. They could still expel someone. You know, they could not assign him anything that gave him any power, so they could sort of ostracize him in a way, but that's probably not enough punishment. Well, can you, can you imagine yeah. that anybody's even talking to this guy? Uh, oh, I'm sure. You know, yeah, I, I can. Right. I mean, they don't seem nothing. Well, seems I really actually bothered. saw an interview. <laughs> I actually saw an interview that Matt Gates did with him. Mm -hmm. So people are talking. He's in a pod. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, but but look, you know something. Uh, Matt Gates did not want uh, Kevin McCarthy, and neither did I. It's the first time we've agreed on anything. <laughs> You know, yeah. so how, how am I going to feel bad about him? Marjorie May Taylor Greene was against McCarthy. No, no, huh? no, wasn't. No, oh, she no. wasn't she was for him. Oh, she was, it was uh, for him. Bobert, 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 yeah. right? Bobert, I hate. I can't stand Bobert. I'd fuck her, but I, I hate. I can't, you know, <laughs> every time they showed Matt Gates and her, that's the same thing I was thinking. What you looked at her and went that she's hot, right? Yeah, I'd say she's a terrible person. Now, now, but... now I think, though, uh, I think uh, 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 Nicasio, what, what is it? Ocasio-Cortez. AOC. AOC is sexier yeah. than no, Bob no. Bobert. Yeah. No, yeah. So if I had somebody to have sex with, it would be Ocasio-Cortez. Yep. Bobert's got the glasses, though. But, you know, I'm saying this like either of these women would have anything to do with me. Yeah, yeah right. Bobert's got a weapon, too. Yeah, yeah. So one thing I don't understand is how can you vote for the speaker if you're not sworn in yet? One of the rules they have. They make the it's, rules. It's one of the rules they had, the people there who were going to be sworn in could vote. Because they were it, all it, congressmen it, elect. They were all congressmen elect, and they could vote for that. And then once that was taken care of, they swore them in, and then they could all vote for anything. Mm-hmm. Which I'm the sure the first two things they voted on were abortion bills. Were abortion bills. You know, they, yeah, what? Yeah, they, didn't, they didn't learn their lesson in the fall, did they? Right. That, that's what, like, made them only get five seats ahead of the Democrats. Yep. And yeah. you're going to sit there and try to, you know, it's just give them all. Give them all freaking guns so they can all shoot themselves in the head. Yeah. I mean, well, it, the, the last thing you want to do is to go to that that pond and fish. You know, I mean, it's just not it, it, it was just ridiculous because the reason why they lost a lot of their uh, elections was because of the stand those people took on abortion. And you just don't. It, it, but immediately they went for that. Why? You know. But, it, you know, and on top of that, here's the idiocy of it all. Yeah, go for it. Now everybody is pissed off at the Republicans because they want to do away with abortion. Okay, now let's say you get it to pass in the Congress, okay, then it goes to the Senate. The Senate won't pass it. If the Senate, by some weird fate, does pass it, it goes to the president's desk where it doesn't get signed. So, you know, what are you expecting to gain out of this? You know? Yeah, exactly. Dollars from the, from the morons. From the morons? Yeah, yeah, the money. They'll send them money. Yeah. Yeah, but own I mean, the libs. That's their motto. Own the libs. Own the libs. Yeah, that's all they're about today. Yeah, uh, but uh, you know, I so so they they really can't do much of anything, can they, uh, Josh? They just have to wait for him to quit. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're gonna really 
pass any kind of legislation. I mean, the only thing I think that you'll see probably gets through and, and it'll be a, a fight will be some, you know, spending bills, you know, yeah. funding the government and, you know, your omnibus packages, if they can even get one of those done, you know, budgetary items, you know, but that'll probably be the extent of it, you know. But I even then they're talking about I don't think cutting, you're going to see much legislation. No, you know, they're even stuff. talking about cutting billions of dollars from the military. <laughs> and these are the Republicans. Only the only the Ukrainian support. Oh, That's what they uh, want to cut out. Is any support for Ukraine? The comrade. <laughs> what I can't figure out is why they don't do away with the debt ceiling law. It was passed yeah, in 1917. Bullshit. It was passed in 1917. They can just repeal the 1917 law that created the debt limit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then they wouldn't have anything to fight about. Well, well so that's why you know abortion. why they don't get rid of it. <laughs> we are we are really in a state of dysfunction. I mean, you got to realize that the way the whole thing's you know they are so. It used to be the Republicans you could get them to budge on certain things and come over to our side or we go over to their side or whatever, right? That doesn't happen anymore. It's just like, we're this and we're that. And even if you're a Republican who thinks it's stupid, you know, that the Republicans are taking a certain stand on something, they don't dare go against it because they won't they won't get the kind of backing they need uh, when they're going to run again. And they, these guys have to run every two years. And that's because of gerrymandered districts. And they don't yeah. understand that's part of the problem. When you gerrymander a district, you have to cater to these nut jobs. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes, uh, J Jason. So the the big elephant in the room right now is with the uh, top secret uh, files that have been found with Biden in his three different locations. But you just keep on hearing the media talk about and comparing it to being the same thing as Trump. Like, why don't they sit there and compare it to be like, you know, if you went into a sunglass hut and you're trying on sunglasses and you accidentally walked out and there's still a pair on your head and you walk back in and said, oh, shit, here you guys go. I forgot to give these back to you versus somebody walking in with a duffel bag and putting <laughs> all the shit into the duffel bag and running yeah. out yeah. purposely trying to steal it. You're like, why doesn't the media sit there and try to put that as a comparison? Well, yeah, I mean, it's more of a comparison, though, too. I mean. To begin with, uh, Trump had, what, over th 300, 300, 300, 300 yeah. documents, 25 of which were top secret. All uh, these... Compartmentalized. Uh, all, compartmentalized top secret. Uh, uh, what, yeah. What's compartmentalized uh, top secret? Is that the highest, highest kind? Yes. That okay. means you can only view it in a skip. Well, from day one, they've said that the ones that they found from Biden were the same. So, you know, you, I, I don't want to sit there and compare that, but... You know, what do you mean they were the same? That the, was the SCI or whatever the top. No, no, top no, secret. no. None of them were. They none were all classified. I I swore I heard from day no. one that no, some of no. them were. They were classified. They were just watching Fox classified. News. The they, lowest level. Lowest level classified. No, and there were only like about no more than twelve in the first batch. No yeah. more than something like three in the second batch. And the one they found at his home in Pennsylvania is one. So okay, you got you got, oh, let's say tops fifteen, um, uh, classified documents. All right, that's There's compared a huge to difference. That's, that's compared to three hundred. There's a huge difference though of saying, "Oh shit, we found these. Here you go. I'm giving them back yeah. to you." Versus you stole these. Turn them back in. And then you he know, doesn't, and they got to go. And no, I won't turn them back. Exactly. I mean, it was a big, big difference. Big and difference. Trump says, "Read my lips." Yeah. Yeah. Well, why I, are we pushing back on the media and saying, "Why don't you sit there and make that little bit of a difference?" There, it's a little bit of a difference. I mean, classified could be letters just between he and other people. You know, uh, the, the thing is that he probably he may have taken them back to his office because he wanted to finish up working as vice president. In other words, while he, when he was no longer vice president, he had work, still work to do to kind of clear the way for the next vi vice president. And I think probably that I don't think it was anything insidious. Whereas Just, I do think in the case of Trump, 
he was planning on selling those documents. Yeah. Just hopefully, if it comes out, none of it has to do anything with his son, because those Republicans are all about his kid. Well, the other thing is that that, that whole deal with Hunter with uh, Hunter Biden. Uh, do we really care? Right. Does anybody in America care about? What Hunter? does it even matter? If I you asked somebody, they if they went to me when I'd be talking to them, they go, "Well, what about Hunter Biden?" And I'd say, "Okay, what did he supposedly do?" Well, the they Republicans couldn't tell you because he cheated on his taxes. He got free money from other countries and stuff, and you know. Well, don't care. Lots of people cheat on their taxes. We don't hold the president. And then the Republicans are sitting there. Was wasn't actually the Republicans' first vote was to deny money to the IRS to hire the eighty eight thousand yeah. people yeah. to because oh they're they're going to come after you about your taxes. I I don't have nothing to hide on my taxes. The the the, the IRS hardly ever goes after people on their taxes. You know, but they're hiring eighty thousand people, so they will go after you on your taxes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I have, I have, I have never, knock on wood, I have never been audited. What about when you were on the the list? When I wasn't, I wasn't audited. I was on a list. I, 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 was, I thought you were on Nixon's. I list. was on a Nixon list of twelve hundred people to be audited by the IRS as because I was, you know, but they didn't have enough. So if they had enough people of, back then. Hmm? I, it was an enemies list, and um, it uh, it was. But I never got audited. Never happened. Because they didn't have enough people. So I, at that time, I didn't have a, at that time I didn't have enough money. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I've never been audited, even when I was making a lot of money. Uh, you know, um, I, I I never got audited. Did I remember? No, no, never did. Um. And I guess because my my uh, um, uh, accountant is very good at making sure that there are no red flags in my, you know, in my uh, 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 thing uh, to you know that we send to yeah. them, you know, in my return. So and you know there are things you can do that'll put up red flags, but uh, he was very good at avoiding the red flags, you know, so. And then if I did get audited, he was very good at going down when there was an audit and, you know, minimizing everything. So that was that. Anyway, so here I am sitting in my $500 a month apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just in case you weren't here last night, I made the big announcement that the, uh, the appeals court, the appellate court that the lawyer, the landlord, appealed to um didn't didn't go for their case so oh, really? yeah so i'm i'm this i'm now we now have a three five hundred dollar five hundred and seven cent a month uh, uh apartment rent. yeah the rent. how long are you locked in for that alex well you're only locked in for two years until the next uh, uh, resigning of a stabilized lease is concerned, which they can't deny you really, as long as you've been a good tenant. But three hundred. Uh, so, but then they can raise it, and they can raise it by whatever they raise the uh, stabilized rent in general after two years. In this case, it'll probably be something like four percent. So I'll owe another twenty dollars a month. Wow, that's a steal for that apartment. Oh, really? Oh, no shit. Yeah, no shit, Tony. It cost me there a lot goes. of money to get it, but, you know. Yeah, that's true. Though. You now that I got it, I'm happy to brag about it, you know. Yeah, I wouldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I said this morning to Marjorie, I said, you know, this damn landlord is <laughs> not sending up any heat right now, and it's freezing mm -hmm. in here. I mean, here. you know, well, you're come, only paying come on, bucks. come on, come no, on. No, wait, yeah, wait, no, wait, no, no, I said, I said, come on, we're paying 500 bucks for heat, come on. <laughs> Gotta bring a space heater in, my mother's time a little electric one. Yeah, so yeah. Put, a, put a fire in the fireplaces. <laughs> yeah, I get, I get it. <laughs> you know, actually, if I, if I, if I got the heat off the fireplace, it would probably cost me more than if I got an electric heater, yeah. <laughs> you know, for the wood, because that wood got really expensive after a while, you know. So, 
uh, whatever. But you know, so I, I'm very, I feel, I've been feeling very happy about that because uh, I would have owed a lot of money if the suddenly they had said, oh no, we were, it's two thousand dollars a month, and I would have had to pay the difference for the last year between the two thousand and the five hundred I'd been sending them. So uh, it's great. So now I'm going to go out and buy hookers. I don't know. So, uh, oh, guess what? This guy's calling again tonight. Oh, no. Yeah. He said he was going to do it. Mr. Salman. Mm -hmm. Let's just put him on and tell him to get lost, okay? Uh, let me see here. Let's see if he even knows how to get on. Does he even know how to get on? I'm afraid of what he's going to be doing. Yeah. Put him on and mute him. He probably doesn't even have a camera. Adam? Adam? Are, are you yes, uh, are you there, Adam? How are you? Why are you such a pain in the ass? <laughs> no, because I need, I want to join to hear what you're understanding. Uh, well, then you're go listen. Hear. Go listen to us on the internet and enjoy the program because we Hold don't. On, we no, don't. Can we I don't. Put my hearing aid. I am deaf. Let me put my hearing aid. Oh, Excuse he's me. deaf too. Wait, okay. wait, no, wait, well, hear wait, this. Wait. Go fuck yourself. What? Hey, Alex. Second, you know why you second. never trust an Adam? Why? One second. Because they make up everything. Oh, yeah. One second. I'm, I'm, wait, 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 wait. I put my hearing aid. Wait. Oh. I think okay. give him a shot, man. Maybe he's a legit. Uh, oh no. What did you say? Oh no. I talked him off the air the other night. He's he's. You don't what want him. What did you him. say, sir? What? So, yeah, I'm here now. I'm I'm joining. Oh. But because I like to hear on Zoom instead on YouTube. But well, but you can't. You're not going to hear you on Zoom because we're going to get rid of you here. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm sorry. See, I we don't even see you. Well, now he muted himself. Oh, because I'm, oh. I'm I need to sleep because I'm going to sleep in ten minutes. You're going to sleep in ten minutes. Go to sleep right now, will you? Adam, are you are you from <laughs> are you from Queens? You kind of sound like it. Alex, Alex, I actually have college, but I already oh, slept, so I woke where, up. Where Where are you calling from, Adam? No, I found you on YouTube. Where are you calling from, Adam? UK, London. He sounds like a Brit. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. A Brit, Queens, what do I know? Oh, there yeah, he is. I mean, London. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think of Prince Harry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think of Prince Harry? <laughs> uh, what about Meghan? <laughs> Alex, uh, you know I subscribe to your YouTube. Do you? Oh. Yeah, I did. I pressed all notifications. I will tell you how many subscribers. Can I tell you how many subscribers I got? I know how many subscribers I've got. No, me. He's me, got. 600. He's got. Oh, you. How many? Oh, you. 600. 600. Wow. Oh. But I don't know what's the maximum uh, of subscribe. I don't know what's the maximum. Are you That's talking are you talking about YouTube? Yeah, I mean yeah, it, I just it, can, it can be it can be as much as as you want. Yeah. Millions. It could maybe because somebody hacked my Instagram once from 2028 2020 then my Instagram got 2028. Holy shit, this guy's from the future. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How, old are you? How old are you, Adam? I'm 19. Yeah, he seems young. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You know, I love to join this app, but some of them, like, like you know, they're praying, praying times. You know, praying. Who's praying? No, I found it on YouTube. People, they put some Zoom links of praying, without making any sound. Camera off, camera face off, no mic on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Well then, but that's what we usually do. Though we we have had some of those people, and they 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 uh, show us porn. <laughs> so what good are you? Well, let's uh, not encourage him. <laughs> no, let's not encourage him. him. <laughs> oh, well. he, he's he's not a Zoom bomber. What? Yeah. What? What did you say? I say he's not a Zoom bomber. No, he's not a Zoom bomber. Yeah, yeah. Zoom bombers. Like, are... for example, let me give you an example. Like, I found it on YouTube, so I clicked. I can't share my screen. Damn it. Um, no, no, you don't need to share it. No, but I want to show you because there's so many. Like, what is this one? There's another one called Honor of God. He's got a picture of his dog in heat. <laughs> yeah. No, there's another. No, 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 no. There's another one. Oh, he's Asian. Damn it. Well, this is really interesting, Adam. No, no, no. There's one. I am never going to. I'm never going to subscribe. Ben. Hey, Adam, what do you think about your new king? 
What, what do you mean new game? King. Charles. King. 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 King Charles. It's really good, actually. Oh, really? Really? The graphics what, what are amazing, time? yeah. Oh, <laughs> the graphics is amazing. I changed the graphics. So I just put it to wait, more wait, than wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you King hear what Charles we said? graphics are good. We mm -hmm. asked you what you think of the new King. What, what King? I never heard of it. Oh, Charles. King Charles. Charles. Oh, yeah, it's good. It, oh, really? Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't do think you, he knows who it is. Do you think he still carries a torch for Diana? That's what my mother would say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, no. listen, we got to get on with this show, Adam. And uh, since you have virtually nothing to contribute, I think it was very nice of me to put you on, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll see you uh, we'll see you uh, in maybe a, 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 wait, wait, Don't wait, wait, say wait. that, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the intersection yeah, so on Skype. Wait, so you're going to kick me out now? Well, I'm not going to kick you out. I'm going to say a very nice good night to you so we can get back yeah, to having you. an adult discussion here. Okay? Some of the praying ones are serious. There's 700 people in the praying one. Oh, my God. I'm not joining that. Okay. All righty. Well, listen. Bye. That's oh, it. no. I miss Adam. No, Adam, I love you. What happened? <laughs> Thank you, oh, Adam. Brian, you missed me. No, 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 no. Brian, you just got out. You just got something to get something. I know. Okay, there. call me back later. Oh, oh, you cut him off. You're so mean, Adam. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I was mean, trying I, to practice I, I, my I, sign I, language. Wait, 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 I, was, uh, I mean, I was nice and I, I put him on to the detriment of having a good, decent adult <laughs> discussion here. Okay, well. I mean, come on. We're going to talk to a guy who lives in England and doesn't even know who the king is. Oh, he's, he's deaf. He England? Was he calling from England? Yeah. 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 Man, I wonder if he has McLaren hookup. We'll go see the tour of the manufacturing site. Yeah. Somebody once said to me, do you know the king's English? And I said, I hope he is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. What are you old? laughing at? That's the oldest joke in the world. <laughs> Was it Winston Churchill that says that our two countries, the Great Britain and the United States, were, were uh, share a, a common language or something like that? You know, oh, that's a, that's one of our big differences is we share a common language. Yeah, right. Yeah, actually, I have always maintained, and, and if you ask any linguist, they'll say the same thing, that the what they speak in England is not the same form of English that we speak here. That yeah. we understand it because it's very close, but that they, you know, I mean, they have different words for a lot of stuff. You know? And they spell yeah. them funny. Mother is mum all the time, you know. Back in the school book. Huh? But they use that in Australia too, mum. You don't go to, you don't go to the university, you go to university. Yeah. And all you right. don't go to the hospital, you go to hospital. hospital. You go to hospital. Yeah, I yeah, never could figure that one out. I don't understand it, but you know. But all I'm saying the, is, is, is a slight difference. Cars are in cars. They call bonnet and all this other weird stuff. Bonnet. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. boot. Do the you boot. See who's watching right here? Do you see who's watching the show? Who? My cat. Here, Adam is calling oh. again. He's cleaning now. He was just staring for a little bit. Where? Where is he? <laughs> he he's right there. Oh, oh, we don't see him. oh. Oh yeah. Marjorie is uh, is uh, is. Uh, nudging me to get a cat. You should. Well, I'm, you know, I, I just figure I'm not going to... The cat's going to live old, longer than I will. Oh, okay. So if you're dead, do you care? So I, yeah. no, but so I suggested to her today, I said, why don't we get a really, like, old cat? Like, a cat is 10 years old, so we can see him go before us. <laughs> On his <you> last know. legs. <laughs> well, you, you got a rescue, didn't you? That's a rescue. Yeah, that's a rescue. Okay. How old? So How old is it? Go down to the Humane Society and get one. It's not like you rescued it from out in the street or something. No, I know, I know, but uh, <laughs> but Marjorie says if you don't, if you don't, we don't get a cat. The that cat will be gassed. And I'm going. They don't, I don't <laughs> think. Do they do that still? I mean, is I the thought, cat Jewish? There are certain like there's a place out in uh, there's a place out in Queens, Tony, isn't there? Called um, yeah. I'm trying to remember the name of it, and they Something say, in the they do not 
I think euthanize animals. Street, what? My what? niece, my niece works in that area where the, where that place is. Yeah. They don't they don't kill them in that area. She works at the swimming place. It's like a yeah. I don't know what yeah, they do with the cats. The they I think, don't kill it. I think they ship them down to Mexico. The ones that they can't. Uh, I know sometimes when we we just picked her up before. But yeah. you know. They don't yeah. gas them. They just turn them into uh, tennis rackets. Is it? Yeah, isn't cat the other white meat? Jack, are you there? I thought it was the pink meat. Wait, Jack, are you there? Huh. Apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, no. Uh, mm. Anyway. Okay. anyway his, show, his show went off good last night. Yeah, but then it took us... Uh, he couldn't get it uh, posted, so right. I had to do the whole thing for him. So. And we, had to, we had to reboot, all of us. Is he on Zoom now or still doing Skype? No, nope. He's still, still doing, doing Skype. Skype. Well, there's, hey, a, he's an expert. there's a reason why he's still doing Skype, because I don't want to have to teach him something new, you know? And he's been using Skype for so long, I'd rather see him just use that because he knows how to do it, you know? Hey, and Alan, I think you were on the show the other day and you were talking about where it's replayed. It, it is on uh, iTunes. That's I download a show every yeah, day and listen iTunes. to it. I, it uh, yeah, audio only, not video. Right, right. Right, yeah, I knew that. Thank you. Okay. Well, the reason I, I was just reason, I want I wondered if it was done. Well, I I'd, I'd also have him do video, but I'm sorry. I have enough problems getting him just to get audio. Yeah. So I, I yeah. thought you just didn't do video cuz Alan was on it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, it. that's one reason I thought about quitting the video. <laughs> and, and Mike. I I, I don't, hear the don't forget about Mike. Detroit. Of course I can always I can, I can always do this. Wait a minute. Um uh uh, no, I guess I can't. Oh, here yeah, we go. Here we, I can opinion. always do this to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, he's, he looks prettier that way. Can you connect him with Adam and put them on one one call together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, right. And Adam called back again. Adam, did you did notice that Adam didn't have any? He, he had a picture of himself. Without a T-shirt on, I was expecting him to stand up and or something. Do a fill. He didn't look like he had any clothes on. He didn't have a shirt for sure. Yeah, yeah, no shirt. I think he was going to start talking religion and then masturbating on the show. Oh well, you know. So, where were we uh, before he called? I Uh, can't believe I missed it. Unbelievable. You missed what? Adam. Adam. What do you mean you missed yeah. Adam? Well, you were Ryan left the room. Well, you were out of the room, and then right when yeah, I came back, Adam was on the screen, and you kicked him off. <laughs> yeah. I'll call him later. Don't worry. Oh, you'll call him later. All right. Yeah. Okay. He's gonna try to call me. I think. Yeah. He told us that he came on the show because he was turned on to you, Brian. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And uh, uh, you know, I, when she's old enough, Adrian could probably marry him. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, uh, I, I was watching a show, a movie tonight we watched, which was kind of strange. It's called Birdie, Catherine, also known as Birdie. I think this is the name of the picture. is written and directed by Lena Dunham, and it takes place in the 12th century. And it's about this girl, you know, just trying to grow up, and you know, her father needs money, and he wants to sell her off for marriage to somebody, you know. And it it was really quite a quite a quite a good little picture. We get a chance to see. It stars the girl who is going to star this starting this Sunday in The Last of Us, which oh, is the yeah. uh, I guess the most anticipated show in a long time. So uh, I actually I, I watched that second season of The White Lotus, and mm-hmm. it was much better than the first. Yes, season. yes, yes. it was. Much and see, did you watch the Golden Globes? Yes, a little, uh, Danette, what's that? Uh, uh, Jennifer, what's the lady? The Coolidge. Coolidge. Yeah, Coolidge. Yeah, is she really like that? Like in real life, she's like she was playing the character on there. I, she was, like, I think I think that she has created a persona for herself, and so yeah. when she goes to a show like that, she does the persona. I'm sure she's somewhat like that, you know. Yeah. But I so, I, I think that the you know when she goes on with the character full force, it you know. I've watched the first couple of episodes of the White Lotus, the second season. Do you have to read the whole entire episode, the whole entire second 
series. You have to painfully go through the first one and then go to the second one. Oh, the the first one I thought was fine because I didn't have the to first read one, it. The first one, was, the first one, second. the first one was okay. The yeah, second one, good. though, I thought was really good. I like the location better. You know, yeah. I, you oh, know. Yeah. I don't like to have to read TV. Well, if you know oh, Italian, you don't have to read it. They're Italian, yeah. See, no habla Italian, habla Espanol. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, it's a, a really good show. Really good show. I, you know. You're saying they have subtitles this year, but they didn't have them last year? No, the, it's subtitles for the Italian language they were speaking yeah but the last year it was all in america or well because it was, it was in, in hawaii right. you know right oh, hawaii. Okay. yeah so uh, it's, it just annoys me like i've been watching uh uh crap i forgot the name of the show but one on uh uh prime uh what's the guy's name jack ryan yeah i and saw that there's, yeah. there's a lot of subtitles in there but that one that was a little more interesting i'm I'm willing to deal with well, having to he, read he, half of the show, but I just I don't really care for. May I TV. may I admit my age now? Hmm. Marjorie and I watch all TV shows with the subtitles on. So do I. Yeah, me I know, too. and you know why? Hmm. There is. I saw an article about it. A lot of people are watching with subtitles now because they can't understand what's being said because right. of the way they're mixing these TV shows. They're mixing them so they don't. They, 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 something's wrong with the mix, okay? And and especially like British shows that we watch, like we watched this thing with Lena that Lena Dunham directed. We had to have the subtitles because you can't understand half the things they're saying, you know. So how many here put subtitles on now? Yeah. See, almost half of us, and. You know, I feel like I I'm. I feel like I'm watching television in a sports bar. But you know, so. what are we gonna say? I was say I guess that makes sense. Half of you do, and I'm half your age, so I don't. <laughs> oh God! Now oh. we got another person kidding about age. Oh God! <laughs> Where's oh, Jack? What? You're only thirty-two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? You're forty-two, right? Forty-one. Forty-two. Forty-two. Yeah. Well, I hope you make it to my age. Me too. You know, I mean, you know, as much as I'm fear what is coming ahead of me, uh, I have to admit that you know, I when I see a, a, a Mar Lisa Marie Presley dying I can't believe at, at 54, I go, yeah, it lasted pretty long. You know. Yeah. Priscilla looked like she was the one dying in the Golden Globes. My God. She's at the Globes, too. Yeah, well, was, um, um, Lisa Marie was at the Golden Globes. Yeah, as well. she was. Yeah. She was at the Elvis table, looked like. With, and, uh, yeah. The one, Priscilla. Yeah. Yeah. Both of them. Yeah. I can't imagine that Elvis could possibly even win a nomination. Have you seen this thing? I didn't see it. My sister liked it. It's ghastly. Was it? Ah, it was I liked it. Yeah, you know, Baz Luhrmann is just so over the top, and he's so you know. I liked it. I just don't like the actor now because oh no, I just, I'm just stuck with this Elvis accent now. And it's just like you know, you're such a pretentious little. Yeah, he's a pretentious little prick because that right. voice, that accent is not his. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, I it, it is kind of strange though because some actors I have known. Uh, they play a role, and until the next role comes comes along, they kind of are that role. It's strange. I was I interviewed uh, 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 Peter Boyle after he did Young Frankenstein, and he came into my apartment and he sat in a chair like, like, like and he, and he, he, was, he was he was just he was just the embodiment of the monster. Okay, and the next time I met him. He had, oh, I I had interviewed him previously to that when he did a picture called Joe, about oh, a guy from New York, yeah, I saw and him. he had that accent then. So he every time he, every time he got a character, he would stay in it till the next character came along. Yeah. You know, so I it, that could be what the problem is with this kid. He may not just be pretentious. Although I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm betting on pretentious. Yes. Did uh, you ever talk to that person about like some type of an intelligent conversation? Do they have any type of intelligence, or is that all they know is just to act? Well, uh, actors, I'll be with you in a second there. Um, no problem. 
um, Sorry. I, uh, actors are sponges, okay? An actor is taking people's, ob observing people, and then cre cre creating those people as a part, okay? And I think that that's what happens, you know. Uh, they, uh, they're not, I, 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 I was having dinner one night with some guy who was friends with Robert De Niro. And I was saying that actors in general are stupid. They're not particularly bright, all right? They're, they're savants. They do one thing great. They act, you know, and they react. Uh, and um, uh, I said, they're, but they're not too bright. And my wife said to me at the time, I think it was, maybe it was Ronnie or it was Susan, said, well, so-and-so's best friend is Robert De Niro. And he looked right back at me and said, Bob is the stupidest guy you'll ever meet. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It, it Somehow the ability to act doesn't come from a certain place of intelligence, yeah. but it does come from being able to recreate people and observe people and, 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 and be them. And that's their talent, you know. Nobody asked them to be smart, yeah, so. Yes, oh yes, Alan. Oh yeah, right. so Jason, not, not only did Jason become ageist on this thing and talk about his age, but he's also uh, anti-Semitic when he was talking about gassing the cats. They said they're the Jewish cats. Yeah. Did he say that? <laughs> yeah, he did. I got yelled at for that stuff, so. But, yeah, but that, that, that doesn't make you any better. <laughs> uh, I don't yeah. feel any better. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm amazed, um, yeah, um, that you said that, Jason. And I didn't catch it. <laughs> I thought I was on mute because nobody responded. <laughs> well, I, I laughed a little bit. I went, oh. oh, did you laugh? Really? Really? Well, I went, I went like, oh, or something. Yeah, I well, all you Texans are at. I, I got the replay. Look at it. All you Texans are anti-Semitic, okay? So. <laughs> definitely did not laugh. <laughs> huh? You, you definitely didn't laugh? Nope. I appreciate that. I appreciate So do that. I. I mean, there are things that bother Charlie a great deal, and he just keeps his mouth shut, right, Charlie? Yep. Bite my tongue. Bite your tongue. Yeah. Anything on the show tonight that bothered you at all? Yeah. Well, well just a Jewish joke. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. I think Adam was kind of entertaining, though. Adam was entertaining. Yeah, I liked him. Yeah. Boy, have you lowered the bar for entertainment? <laughs> You Later know. on, we're going to find out. It's like watching really Congress on C-SPAN. <laughs> <laughs> Tony and him are going to become pen pals. Yeah. 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 So, so, Tony, you're all through with your uh, your uh, radiation? Yep. I was done last Friday, and then mm -hmm. I wait about another week and a half, and I go in for that seed in the mm -hmm. office. And how they say you did? They give you a glowing... Uh, Review? Yeah, they said everything was fine. You know, he was saying, actually, you know what I noticed? I, was, I, was, I told Shecky this. I was going to tell you this, too. Is that now, the only, the only side effect I had was like sometimes I would pee a little more at night. But now I noticed this last couple of days, it hasn't been that bad at all, really. So oh, like, I'm, Wait till you get the seeds. Oh, really? I all, I know, all I know is I, uh, my, 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 my urologist uh, stuck his finger up my ass, and I, I don't think, hey, uh, YouTube, don't demonetize me for that, because that's what urologists do. Okay. You're right, Alex. That's a crazy job they have. I've been doing that all day. He went up like, when he gave me the test. Like, you know, oh, you know, I was like, how do you do that? How much you did yeah, they did he, did he do what mine did, hand you flowers? <laughs> no, he, he told me just let it be. I said, dude, I feel like I'm getting raped but, but, uh, or light of his hands on your know, shoulders. But, but I, something I, wrong with that, Tony? I went and had the, the seeds okay. and then about a year later I was in seeing my urologist. And he did the, you know, the finger thing. Yeah. And, and he said, <laughs> it's just oh, my finger. Oh, your, your prostate is flat now. But that's like, it's how it's supposed to be after the seeds. So you're going to have a flat prostate. Well, he told me mine was nice and smooth when he went up the last time, and then the yeah, because all you've had, had all you all, everything this guy told me, Brian, was like I went the other way with you. Really. All you've had is the is the radiation so the far. The light radiation. You I haven't feel pretty good though. You though. haven't had the you haven't had the seeds. Yeah, and the you seeds. Go to the bathroom after that, Alex. Huh? 
You do economic legal. I think you'll find you'll have a few problems. I don't have them anymore. You you're know. gonna need diapers for a while. Yeah. Still got my Adam, mom. Adam, if you're if you're watching, please call in, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather talk to Adam than flat me here. What are you talking about? So, Tony, did you have to get the tattoos and stuff done for the yeah, radiation? Yeah, I, I have it here. Yeah, I, I have, have two tattoos. little tattoos, too. I the, I, I did, can't did do you, it. But the gonna, special little form yeah. fitting seat, too, and everything for you to sit in? Well, yeah, they, they mapped you out and all. It was actually pretty easy. I hope you never have to go through it. It was the biopsy that was the worst, to tell you the truth. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> biopsy was I, a breeze for me, but. Yeah, I can't believe it was good for you. No, 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 cried no, problem. no problem. You know, and my sister came in after I was done. I was in tears. He did so good. You're, you're right. You're right. Uh, you're right, uh, Brian. We should bring Adam back up. Yeah, <laughs> my sister's going to run in the room. <laughs> well, yeah, we only got three minutes left. I mean, we yeah. may as well talk about our prostates. Yeah. <laughs> See, you don't appreciate any of this, Jason, because once you get to be oh, our baby. age. And you have dinner with a friend your age. <laughs> the first thing you're going to talk about is, "Oh, my prostate's killing me," or, uh, uh, you, "You know, I've got this wrong with me," or "I've got that wrong with me," or I'm, "How many doctors are you seeing?" You know. I so, know. I'm like uh, you know, Alex. I mirrored your life in Phil's. <laughs> yeah, you know, I had to. I'll tell you what I had to do the other day. I had to. Uh, uh, I had to have a. I was supposed to have my every six month appointment with the neurologist. The reason is, is he needs to make money every six months, and that's okay by yeah, me. Yeah, payment. All right? Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I had to turn it down because I got up that morning. I was going to get in the order up a, 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 a lift and go over to Mount Sinai, and I turn on the TV, and the report reporters are all out in front of Mount Sinai. Oh, yeah. The nurses are on strike. They're on strike, yeah. Wow, everybody. Now, my work. father, <laughs> who was... Pure union, man. He was a yeah. real union guy. He was a musician's union. Uh, uh, but he was a union Don't cross guy. cross the line. He was a union guy. He says, do never cross a picket line. Really? So I wasn't going to go up there and cross a picket line, you know. And I had to call him up and say, I'm not coming because I'm, uh, you know, I can't cross a picket line. And she went fine. You know, you know it would probably be over in a month here. I'll give you another date. But, uh, you know, I, I, I remember my father saying that, you know, and. So just just for information, the finger up there is called the digital rectal exam. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Well, yeah, it has nothing to do with computers, though. We should no, let people no, know that. I don't know where they came up with the name. Well, because digital is a finger. It's, it's, I got that part, but it's stupid. Why don't they just call it the finger rectal exam then? It's because an digital thing, sounds more scientific. Yeah. Rolls off the tongue. It's better than analog. Josh, this isn't exactly the show you signed up for tonight, is it? Or anal the way it goes. That's the way it goes. Well, anyway, so uh, we're slowly running out of time. Uh, but, uh, you know, everything went right tonight. Nothing screwed up on me. Uh, so let's, let's hope the, 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 the whole process continues once we're off. Um, but I, uh, uh, I'll start playing the theme here. What do I? Do? Why don't I do that? There we go. Ah, uh, you know, Adam is still sitting there waiting in the waiting room. Uh, hey, thank you so much, uh, 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 Alan, for being here tonight. We appreciate it. Uh, Josh, always like you being here. You know, even if, if he says a lot or you don't say anything, you're. You're, just, you're, you're a great presence on the show. Uh, Charlie Wallace. Oh, my God. What can I say about you, Charlie, that hasn't already been said? I don't, I don't know what that meant at all. Uh, uh, Vernon Nunn, thank you. Uh, works Habitat for the Humanity and works at, uh, at uh, Home Depot. So here's, here's to nails. Uh, and uh, also, uh, Scott Boddicker, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, Brian, very nice to see you. Glad you didn't meet up with Adam. I, th I thought you would uh, you two would get along. I got the playback radio, though, when the show's over. Oh, okay, fine. Jason, good to see you. We don't see you that often, but when we do, it's always a pleasure. And, of course, Tony. Uh, Tony, Tony. What can I say about Tony? I give him nothing but glowing reviews. Yeah. Right. Anyway, 
Uh, everybody, a big wave goodbye from you would be a bit nice uh, kind of thing to do, and I'll give you a big wave goodbye here. There we go. There goes our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, and we, uh, we, it was a good one. It was a nice little time we had here. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He's going to be doing the intersection. You can call him at Skype at GabNet Live is the, uh, is the place to call on Skype for those people who know how to use Skype. Uh, and, and, uh, easily we will see you again tomorrow night right here. Same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>